Today's tutorial is how to create a fashion illustration in the style of Tiffany Atkin. So once again, make sure you've got access to research boards and lots of pictures of the artist's work to help you. And you also need an image from a magazine of a figure of your choice. When deciding what figure is going to be best as your starting point, think about where you want your figure to go. Eventually, you will use that figure on a cityscape of Birmingham. So do you want them standing at the front, in front of buildings? Do you want them leaning up against one? Or do you want them seated, sitting on top of the building, for example? So have a good look through your fashion magazines. This is a next catalogue and then pick an appropriate image. I've gone for sitting down. Then add yourself a piece of layout paper on top of that figure. You can see here I wanted my figure central, so I've masked and taped it slightly over. And then the technique you use with your fine liner is going round the figure as you can see here. There's lots of different ways, but this is all about finding your own way. This is an exaggerated line technique. So I'm exaggerating my lines, I'm crossing them over where there's bends in the arms and limbs and where the clothes meet each other. Using quite a straight line but no rulers, I'd stay away from rulers. I have sped this video up slightly, you can take your time. Gone round the hands, again elongating, crossing over those lines. I've left the feet and I haven't put any detail in the face. You can see what I've done there is just put two lines, again exaggerated, for the eyes and the lips. Another technique while you're trying to find your own style is to trace it really neatly and accurately. As you can see I'm doing here, I'm putting all the details into the face, into the clothes, staying as close to that image as I can that's underneath. Again, I've sped it up a little bit, so we're not here too long for this demonstration. You guys can take your time. Now eventually you will be collaging your own materials to make the clothes, so you don't want too much detail in those, because they will eventually become collage. On this illustration, I'm going to trace in the hair really delicately, really accurately, and I intentionally didn't do that on the other. That's because it's entirely up to you how you add features like that. You might want to add it really neatly, or you might want to add it more rustically and rugged, more expressive. You can see there the difference. So pro markers are a fantastic tool to use on layout paper and I'm going to be exploring those for this demonstration to show you how I would add quite expressive hair. But before I do that I'm going to add a, a couple of final touches just to make my graphic illustration look more graphics. Now there's no real reason for doing this, just to make it look more graphic like. If I was to have done this illustration on a program such as Adobe Illustrator on the PC, these are the sort of anchor points that enable you to get angles and lines. You could add any shapes you wanted to the end of those exaggerated lines. I've just added circles for this demonstration. So I've put my image back underneath just to get a rough idea of where to put in the expressive hair. As you can see here, your pro markers are dual ended. They've got a thick, flat side and then a more thin end at the other side. Ideally, you want to be turning your layout paper to the reverse side for this because you're running a risk, as I am here, of when the pro marker touches the fine liner, it bleeding, and we don't really want that to happen. But as you can see there, it gives a really nice expressive effect. The next thing I tend to do with my fashion illustrations on the back, as you can see, I just twisted it over, is I use masking tape split in half and I go round the edge, go round corners by folding it 
and I go round the edge of the figure. Probably thinking why, again, there's no real reason to why, but when I turn the image over, you'll see it just adds another creative effect and really makes that figure stand out. Again, I've sped the video up, you can take your time. You might want to do this, you might not. A date stamp, again, something that I like to use to really make that figure stand out. You might want to do it all around the figure, you might want to cover your background, but I've just used it there as a demonstration around the one side of the figure. I'm going to move on to collage now then. I've got lots of uh, resource materials, collage materials at your disposal. Pick something you'd quite like to use, it's raffle tickets used in this example. And I'm going to show you how I would get that cut to size using again tracing paper. So a separate piece of tracing paper, go around the shape of the trousers as carefully as you can. And the trousers won't be in one section, they'll be in several for obvious reasons. So I'm just getting those shapes onto a second piece of layout paper. And then I'm going to transfer those onto the back of the raffle tickets. And remember, all tracing is, is a form of printing. By flipping that piece of paper over, that pencil that I've just drawn is now facing down onto the raffle tickets. And if I hold it steady and go over the back of the lines, it will transfer those shapes that I need for those trousers down onto the raffle ticket. Now all you do at this point is cut those out and hope that you've got them the right size. You don't have to do this. You can collage using stickers or if you're using the raffle tickets, you could simply put glue on the back of each raffle ticket and cut them down and collage with them in a more traditional way. But if you want them precise and to speed things up a little bit, that's what I've done here. To attach them, I'd avoid glue because you can see it through the layout paper. So I'm going to use masking tape and you won't see that from the front. So that's it for your fashion illustration tutorial. Again, I've shown you some techniques and I've shown you how I would go about doing it, but this is about you exploring your own way of developing your own quirky style of fashion illustration. So from this, get yourself some layout paper and an image from a magazine and have a go.